Good day, good day everyone and once again we are back together. Uh, hopefully uh, the echo is not too bad and um, we're going to be looking at some exercises on logarithms. So if you haven't subscribed, please just make sure that you're part of the family and of course uh, you can get in touch with us. Our email address is info at mlungisingosi.co.za as well as on our website mlungisingosi.co.za All right, so I'm going to be looking at these 10 exercises, okay, with you, uh, and they simply say, uh, simplify where possible, okay, so we're going to try and work through all of them. Now, this is what I advise. If you are able to pause the video and look through the exercises yourself, do so, and uh, in this case, um, check the solutions thereafter. I'm going to start with the first one and then we'll obviously go on as, um, as we continue, right? All right, so let's start with the first one. So log 8 over log 16. So I want us to start with the solution for the first one. All right, so we've got here is our solution. I kind of like this color, hey? Uh, it's different. Okay, so our first one says we've got log 8. Now, you'll see this. This is somewhat similar to the one that we did as the exercise of our last video. Okay, so how do we simplify this? Okay, so I'm going to change this to the log of a prime base. So this would be the log of 2 to the exponent. Now, remember that 2 exponent 3 in this case would give us 8 so this would also be log 2 exponent 4 all right so in this case we've got 3 log of 2 divided by 4 log of 2 right now you see it you remember in this case we're able to just cancel those two right so what are we left with for our final answer we've got uh okay i just want to change back to our original color right so we've got in this case we've got 3 over 4 right okay yeah so that's going to be 3 over 4 all right I seem to have lost my color there all right let's try and change that back all right so we've got uh, 3 over 4 all right so we're going to continue uh, to the next one. Okay, I seem to have changed the color there. All right, so um, the next question says we've got log of x squared plus log of y squared divided by log x plus log y. Okay, so let's go through that one. Okay, so we've got log of x squared plus the log of y squared divided by the log of x plus the log of y. All right, now let's have a look at it. So in this case, I'm going to apply law number three of logs. Remember, we said if we've got an exponent, that simply becomes the coefficient. So this will be two log of x, uh, of x rather. Um, so two log x plus, that's going to be two log y, Okay, divided by, we've got log x divide or rather plus log of y, right? So in this case, what we can do, we see this, uh, uh, we can take two out as a common factor. So this becomes log x plus log of y. By the way, nothing wrong stopping you uh, um, if we put this as log x times y. Right, you remember our first rule of logs. So this will be divided by log x plus the log of y. Now, in this case, you notice that this is exactly the same as what we have there. So we can simply just cancel those two there. And so two divided by one, that would simply give me uh, two over one, which is two as our final answer. I hope that makes sense, ladies and gents. Right, so going to the next one so number three says we've got log x plus log um, one over x right so let's take that one quickly 
So we've got log of x, okay, plus log of 1 over x. All right. So how do we solve this one? So what we're simply going to do is we're going to apply our first law, right? So in this case, we are uh, the, these are logs of the same base. So as a result, it means that we can actually multiply the indices in this case. So that's going to be log of x multiplied by 1 over x. You remember this, right? So in this case, if we multiply those indices, we can actually uh, add the, the logs in this case, right? So that's going to be the log of x times 1 over x. Now you notice x over 1 times 1 over x. In this case, that simply gives us 1. And please remember that whenever we've got the log of 1, in this case, that would simply give us 0. Okay, right. Uh, please remember that. Okay, uh, the log of any base of 1 simply gives us 0. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, so I am going to say uh, we've got log 400 over 4. Okay, so how do we solve for that? So that would be log of 400 over 4. Now, remember, uh, you know, the wonderful thing about logs is that as long as you follow the right principle, you'll always get to the correct answer, right? Um, but in this case, I'm just simply going to just say, well, um, if I look at that fraction, 400 divided by 4, that will give me log 100, isn't it? So log of 100, remember, this is base 10. So this would be uh, log of 10 squared, right? 10 squared is 100. So in this case, that would be 2, the log of 10, right? Now, remember that if the index is the same, the base is the same, in this case, that simply becomes 1. So this is 2 times 1, and that would simply give us 2 as our final answer. All right, moving swiftly along, right? I hope that you're getting the gist of this. Uh, by the way, uh, just for me to show you, nothing wrong if you decided uh, in our previous example, you know, to just simply make this log of, um, let's say uh, you said 4 multiplied by 100 uh, over 4 and you use the log rules, right? So that would be log of 4 plus the log of 100 minus, now remember in this case we are dividing, that would be minus log 4, right? You'll see obviously these two would cancel, you left with log 100 and again you still have the same thing, this would be equal to 2 log of 10 and that would be equal to 2. So nothing wrong if you approached it from that perspective by applying the laws, anyway we get to the same result, okay? Right, so we go to the next one, and log 5 plus log 12 minus log 6, okay? So, uh, there we go, log 5 um, plus log 12 minus the log of 6. All right, now, uh, again, you can choose how you want to go about this one. Uh, I am simply going to apply the... Uh, log rules, right? So if you remember, in this case, if we are adding logs of the same base, it means that we can multiply those indices. So this would be the log of 5, right, multiplied by the log of 12. But remember, I can say this is divided by 6, okay? So if I look at this, right, 12, goes into, I mean 6 rather, goes into itself once and into 12 it goes twice. So this would be the same as having log, right, of uh, 5 multiplied by 2, which is 10. And of course, I hope that you know this by now, that will give you 1, okay? Right, moving swiftly along. Uh, and of course, perhaps you have another approach to this. You can share it with us uh, on the comment section. Right, nothing wrong if you use a different approach, 
for as long as we get to the same answer. Right, now we go to the next one, log 4 plus log 25 divided by log 0 0.01. Okay, so let's go for that one. Okay, so that's log 5. Okay, uh, plus uh, log, actually it's log 4 plus log of 25 divided by log of 0 0.01 right now please remember when you've got uh, decimals there is a way of representing decimals as fractions right or uh, we can um, obviously if it's decimals we can al also um, you know e express them as um, to the uh, exponent or rather base 10 right uh, with an exponent so in this case i'm going to say well log 4 and log 25 Okay, we can say, well, that's log of 4 multiplied by 25, okay, divided by the log of 0 0.01, okay, so 4 times 25, that's 100, so that's log 100, okay, divided by the log of, now, uh, 0 0.01, you'll agree with me, ladies and gents, this is the same as 1 over 100 okay which we can express by the way as 1 over 10 squared right but if you remember the exponential rules right the laws of exponents i can actually represent this as 10 exponent minus 2 right okay so in this case that becomes 10 exponent negative 2 so i'm going to express this as 10 to the exponent negative 2 right so at the top remember log 100 this is the same as 2 log 10 so that's log of 10 squared right divided by log of 10 exponent negative 2 and so what we can do is say well this is 2 log 10 divided by negative 2 the log of 10 and of course we can cancel those two 2 divided by negative 2, that will give me negative 1 as our final answer. Right, so the next question, uh, and by the way, you could have expressed that uh, in another different way. Um, nothing wrong with that, okay? Uh, so, the next one, log 9 plus log 4, okay, and it's log 7 and log, log 27, rather, uh, log 8, right? So... Let's go for that one quickly. Uh, so we, on which number are we? Number seven, okay? So we said log nine plus log four, okay? Divided by the log of 27 uh, plus the log of eight. Right, so uh, if I look at this, um, I see that actually I can work uh, with these ones. I convert them into prime basis because it will be the same as uh, that one as well. So uh, log of 9, this would be the same as log of 3 squared plus the log of 2 squared. I've got prime basis in that case. So again, I can do the same. Log of 27 this is log of 3 cubed, right? Plus the log of, again, 2 cubed, right? So we can express this in the following way. This will be 2 log 3 plus 2 log 2, right? And divided by, this is going to be 3 log 3 plus uh, 3 log 2. Okay, I hope you can see that we can actually take out a common factor here. Right at the top, we've got 2. That's log of 3 plus log 2 divided by 3. Again, we've got log 3 plus log 2. Took out a common factor as well at the bottom. So what happens? See that we can cancel out. This cancels out with that. And what are we left with? We've got 2 over 
three as our final answer. All right. So we try to always express to the simplest form possible. Right. So the next one. All right. I hope that you can see it. Uh, we've got two log four plus log three. Right. And three log two uh, plus log six. OK, so we've got. All right. So there we have it there. Um, so we're on number eight, right? All right. Okay, so we've got two log four plus log of three divided by, um, oh, well, I've actually kind of forgotten there, right? So it's two, three log two plus log six. Okay, sorry about that. Okay. So that's three log two plus the log of six. All right. Um, as you get used to this, these, right, you can actually just find ways in which you can express it differently. Right. So um, I've got two log four. Um, so we can actually reduce it because I'm seeing log two there. Let's see if we convert it to two squared uh, plus log three right and um, in this case we've got at the bottom there we've got three log two i'm going to leave it like that okay plus now in this case if i say log six i'm going to express it as log of two times three right so that we've got something else there uh, we can represent it with so we've got two log uh, two squared again so this jumps down so that will become two times two that's four log of two plus log three right divided by um we've got three log two plus i'm going to have log two plus log Three. Right. Now let's have a look at it. Uh, how can we simplify this? I've got log two plus three log two, right? So I've got four log two plus log three divided by uh, three log two plus one log two. That will give me four log two plus log three, right? And of course, I'm sure that you can see that the bottom and the top are exactly the same. So we can actually cancel uh, in this case. And we've got one as our final answer. I hope that makes perfect sense, ladies and gents. Right, we're almost there. Okay, so if you did this on your own, of course, um, I'm sure you're comparing those answers and looking if you've gotten them correct. So we've got log 10 into log 10, okay? So we've got the log of log 10, okay? So how do we solve that? The log of a log. So in this case, um, remember that log 10, we've got a base 10 there, so that makes that one. So you've got log of one, right? And again, the log of one, ladies and gents, we remember, please remember that that will always give us zero. OK, and we take the very last one, which I hope that you've gotten correct. OK, for those of you who tried it out. OK, so you've got log six plus two log 20 minus log three uh, minus three log of two. OK. So, in fact, uh, let me just create some space over here uh, so that I wouldn't have to write this all over again. Uh, I am too lazy to do that. Right, so let's solve it over here. So we've got log 6 uh, plus 2 log 20 minus log 3 minus 3 log 2. So in this case, uh, let's try and break it down into logs that are the same, okay? So I see the most basic ones are log 3 and log 2. So I can convert 6 into log of 
3 multiplied by 2, okay, and 20, I can convert that into, um, yeah, 4, um, so 20 would be, okay, so 20 would be 4 multiplied by uh, 5, right? Uh, another way would be 10 times 2. In fact, let me take that one because at least I know that log 10 would actually give me 1. Okay. Uh, minus log 3 and minus 3 log 2. Okay. Right. So that's 3 log 2. Okay. So let's try and expand this. So I've got log of 3 plus log 2. Okay, and here I've got 2 log 10, right? Or I can say 2 into log of 10 plus log of 2 minus log 3 minus 3 log 2. Okay, apologies for that. So that's 3 log 2. Right, so... Um, I'm quite certain you can already, I mean, have some of them checked out. In this case, I've got log 3 and log 3. I can actually cancel those. Okay, I've got log 2 and minus 3 log 2. Okay, so let's try and uh, um, just to show that. So log 2 minus 3 log 2. Okay, I'm putting them next to each other so that you can see that. Okay, plus 2 log of 10. Okay, which we already know that's going to be 1. Plus 2 log 2. Now, ladies and gents, let's deal with that quickly. Okay, so uh, I've got log 2 minus uh, 2 log 2. Okay, uh, 3 log 2 rather which will give me negative 2 log 2, right? Um, in this case, plus 2 times log 10, which is 2, 2 times 1, okay, plus 2 log 2. I'm sure you can already see the answer. These two actually cancel out, and so my final answer there would be 2, okay? Right, so remember in this case, we wrote this uh, over another exercise that we had. Of course, there is another way that you could explore this, uh, you know, simplifying it. But of course, I do know that uh, we will all arrive at the same answer. Right, so I want to leave it here, ladies and gents. We are now going to be looking at log equations. All right, so um, for those of you who are following, uh, that we will do in our next lesson. If you haven't subscribed, please just make sure you do the right thing. And of course, uh, tell as many people that your favorite uncle is still doing the most when it comes to maths and science. Otherwise, ladies and gents, I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.